What's up YouTube, the doctors and Michael Parati here. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the Kimberly moveset here for Street Fighter VI. And by we, I mean that Casa Bunch is gonna be joining me, except there was a bit of an audio issue, and so he is more like the heavenly ghost speaking to me directly, and then I send the information over to the YouTube. But either way, it is still a really great intro. Shout out to Justin Wong for allowing us to have the type of footage that we do, showing us the movesets and the rest of the players. But yeah, let's check out Kimberly's moveset. Yeah. Yeah, because she, she's just a ninja. I'm wondering if this means that we might not get Ibuki, right? Because, like, she does, Kimberly does similar things, like, right? Like, it, she fits the same fill of, like, you know, a potential setup junkie ninja type with some mix and DPs. <laughs> well, did you see that? This looks sick. With the grab, uh. <laughs> the the name of this move is Neck Hunter. <laughs> we got Shadow Slide into Neck Hunter. <laughs> Yo, Capcom, what are you doing? Bah. I actually can't wait to get my hands on this game. I don't know if you were in here earlier, but I was saying that if that if like I get a code, I'm probably gonna try and get Brad and Dan to like roll through and we'll just do like matches basically and do all the, the content creator stuff that we should be doing. Yeah, I know I know Dan's super down for it. Um it'd be cool if Brad opened his house to us for it, but <laughs> we'll see. Is he getting an own jersey? I didn't know he was getting a jersey. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> that would be mad funny. If not, I'll just superimpose CLG over his t-shirt. <laughs> I'm going to I'm actually going to ask him cuz I'm I I forgot that I was supposed to send him my my Venmo, but Actually, that's what I'll do, because he said he was going to pay me for gas money for East Coast Throwdown. I'm going to just ask if I can get a Dan Cravat CLG jersey instead. <laughs> can I just... <laughs> a Dan Cravat CLG jersey instead. Because, like, gas wasn't even bad. I was like, just send me 20 bucks, man. And he's like, nah, I'll send you more. <laughs> I was like, why? <laughs> but whatever. Yeah, I mean, I don't know who's going to get access to this. We'll see. Well, you're in first attack that weekend, so. Oh, that's right. If you, if you got a code, you could, you know, share. Yeah, or a PS. Well, actually, no, you do have a PS5. So, oh, that's right. So you'd have to play on pad regardless, which is not great. Mm, no. I, yeah, I listen. You you're spending all that money to go down there. You might as well, you know, chillax, spend a little bit of time trying to recover. It's what two weeks away still. You should be fine. Oh, that's right. That's literally, that's this week. Uh, yeah, you should probably see a doctor on Monday just to be careful. Oh, good. Yeah, two days was not great for you. So this move, so vagabond end is whatever. That's like a. I think this one's actually like the Karen uh, command dash. 
kind of thing. Lunge forward, unleashing powerful chop, and you can cancel it into normals. And then you can you can actually jump cancel it in heavy and OD versions. It's interesting. If in this move, yeah, the vagabond edge, you can jump cancel it. It says that jump cancel on block. Uh, that's a good question. They didn't show it. This move is interesting because it's a command dash, but it, if I remember correctly, it's not projectile and vulnerable. No. So they... Oh, when... So blue start goes forward, yellow start goes up. Yeah, I mean, they might want it to be somewhat, you know, non-confusing. As, like, a commentator, that's great. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, as a commentator, I'm glad that I can be like, oh, it's a yellow flare? Oh, we're going for the, the high mix instead of, like, the dash mix. But, yeah, I, it just says it's true. That That's fair. But, yeah, it seems to be always blue forward, always yellow up. What's this? Yeah, tamper with a spray can. I wish there was a little bit more of an animation attached to it. Oh, no, there is a spray can. It's just very little. Um, and then if you... Once stocked, it's the same input to throw it. Uh, explode your time. So she starts with two. Yeah, but you start with two and then you can restock. Does she? It says... To get an additional stock, once stocked, input the same command again to activate the bomb. I don't know. I mean, we'll see once we get into, like, the gameplay portion of it. So. <laughs> now do the thing. I think the, I think the jury rig it. Yeah. Toss the spray can out. Explode a period of time. Best used to apply pressure... Capitalizing the duration between the bomb and place and destiny. But so it, it seems like there's a, a pretty long time between the explosion. And then, what is this? The. And you can send out two at the same time with. No, because it just, it covers a little bit more ground. But it's it's a long time to explode. Yeah. We'll see. So we got air command grab. Yeah, but it has to be... You have to jump first before you can grab it. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, that's the one thing that I'm also super curious about is how this game actually reads inputs, right? Like, there's, you know, obviously been the whole talk about, you know, leverless and SEOD and all that garbage. But, like, straight up, the, the way games read inputs is so different. Like, in Street Fighter V, on my leverless, I can hold down, tap forward twice, and get a DP motion. I can't do that. I can't do that in anime titles. Like, it, the game just doesn't recognize it that way. So we'll we'll finally get a chance to see it on in the beta because I think every player, for the most part, that has played it early, at least the Evo build, was either a pad or a stick player. I can't think of any leverless players that have been given a chance to play this game early. Yeah, I don't know either. Neck Hunter. <laughs> And then different super arts. Her super arts are sick. This one. 
herself. Yeah. This one is sick where if you have the if you have a bomb stock, you also drop a shuriken bomb at the end. Damage increases but requires one stock. Uh I So it activates, you get the hit. Use its invincibility time to counter attacks or combo from a ground based move for damage. Oh, like Oki wise? Da da da. Yeah. There's there's no Oki after the bomb explosion whatsoever. Uh, unless it kills, right? That's the difference. So this is this is from the air, this Bushin scramble. It's it's like the the geo overdrive. But she activated it on the ground. Did you see that? So she's on the ground. So well, this is the Bushin scramble one, right? So with a dive bomb like attack from the air and then pelt them relentlessly with mid-air attacks. Excellent choice against projectiles or airborne opponents. So the the activation flash is her jumping to the air. So it's it's like when they adjusted the Cami's critical art. And then there's oh there's an air version too. Oh. I didn't <laughs> I didn't look down the next line. <laughs> Easy to use in a combo from a mid-air special move. But it seems to be the same. And then this is well, this is the level th three. Is there a difference between CA and level three? Uh, okay. Right. Okay. So let's see. It says launch opponent in the air and attack them while detonating numerous spray cans. And then after, walk speed and attack power are boosted. And I think, I think it was Brad that said it's... It's for the rest of the round, which is could be a long time, could not be a long time. And then these are just her command normals. The, the slide, water sight. Yeah. 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 I was saying, I don't think any slide in Street Fighter Five is safe, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a low profiles too, so we'll be able to get under fireballs. This game it seems like there's a lot of answers to fireballs, honestly. Um, I don't know if they're all going to be, like, insane answers like you can expect in, like, other titles. But, like, it seems like Drive Impact, for the most part, goes through fireballs. Drive Rush gets beat by them. But, like, we have low profiles. Lots of supers go through them. So, I think it'll be really interesting to see how, you know, that evolves. And Overhead... Well, that's what, so I, I said it earlier. So the at least one version of Dalsim's horizontal fireball is a two hitter. Um, and so in my head, I was like, is that the answer to drive impact? Because drive impact, I think, oh no, it is drive impact has super armor. It takes more than two hits. So maybe not. Okay. Because I remember hitting Brad with a couple and then still getting impacted. And I was like, this is bullshit. <laughs> 
Uh, all right, so this is it's a command normal that's jump cancelable in multiple directions. Yeah, did they show all the different jumps? No, I think they just showed up. Yeah. They didn't show like a, what a forward jump there looks like. It has to be at the peak though. That's interesting. Target combos. I want I wonder if there's a lot of these. The Helican or Hell Chain. Yeah, well, the down heavy kick is a throw addition, which is a back throw. So if yeah, it if she has a three frame light, this is going to be an insane wake up in the corner option. Yeah, we'll we'll get to see like once once the, the training mode comes out with the beta. I think it'll be really interesting. So forward throw looks sick. Back throw. Also sick. And then this is common moves. So this is These must be universals because I also see like drive parry and drive rush and stuff. But like so does every character get a special heavy punch, heavy kick. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't remember this portion of it. Oh, wait, this is the drive impact. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah, heavy punch, heavy kick is drive impact. So, yeah, that's why they didn't showcase like drive parry and stuff like this, because this is just her drive impact. Um, yeah, one bar versus two bar. So shapeless state when blocking or during a successful drive parry, and it costs two bars. But drive like parry in this game, you can hold it and just drain all your meter through, which obviously defeats perfect parry options because um, it would just be a normal parry versus like you know parry drive rush. This stuff is gonna what's really gonna be you know messing with people because it's a frame one parry. And then you can then immediately cancel it into the parry rush. So, like, if your opponent loves meeting, then you can, like, tap the parry in to try to get the perfect parry. And if they don't, you can just immediately then double dash or dash forward and get the, the drive rush. So, that'll be really interesting to see.